warriors and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the moving vlog part two so we are now in our apartment it's actually thursday september 3 so we've been in our apartment for almost a week not quite a week i think we're two days short of a week and the reason i haven't updated as soon as i hoped was because we ran into quite a few complications with moving into the apartment for example no furniture as i am sitting on the floor on a rug that we bought because we have no furniture, but that's going to be resolved soon. But I do have some updates. I'm not going to be able to finish the vlog today and I'll talk more about that in a minute, but updates being we bought a little bookshelf for me and we're very, I love this bookshelf. We got it off the Facebook market and I'm super happy and it's really nice quality and I mean, I don't, not all my books are probably going to fit on there, but I'm going to make them fit because I love books. Um, but we do actually have some books on here already. All of these in the back. These are my husband's books. And then these are books I got from the library because, oh my gosh guys, there's a library very close to our apartment. It's a 10 minute walk and it's open. So of course I went and I'm going to go again today. But yeah, so I do have some library books, and then I got these books free from the library, which I will feature later in a mini book haul that I can film. And I will film those in a mini book haul a little bit later once we're a little more settled. Now, the reason that not all my books are here is because, so me and my husband, we have a Prius. So we can't fit everything, we can't even fit like all the necessities. But we have a Prius, so it's not like we can fit everything that we want to into the car to get here to Minnesota. So my parents were gonna come the next weekend with the rest of our stuff, which includes my four boxes, four and a half boxes of books. <laughs> um, so I will really be able to do most of the uh, moving in vlog then after my parents bring the books because then I'll be able to record me putting the books on the shelves and organizing it and kind of doing almost a mini bookshelf tour just because it's such a such a small shelf that I think it'll be very very interesting to try and uh, film and fit all the books on there so yeah so we're in our apartment um, but I can't finish moving in until my parents bring the rest of the stuff this coming weekend, this Labor Day weekend. Um, all of this video, plus the video before and a couple other videos, uh, I've been wanting to upload, except we don't have Wi-Fi currently as of, like, September 4, when we moved in. On August 29, we moved here, and there was no Wi-Fi along with no furniture. Uh, so, we, I don't have Wi-Fi to, like, upload the videos off of my computer. So, like, these videos are going to be pretty late after I've already moved in just because I have to edit the part one of this vlog and put it up once I have Wi-Fi and then edit part two of this vlog and put it up. But I also have another video currently in editing before either of these videos. So it's, it's going to take a little bit of time for these to go up, but that's just because there's a delay on our Wi-Fi, but it should be here early next week. Right when I start classes, like the day I start classes is the day we're supposed to get the router and modem to set it up. So um, we'll see, because all my classes are in the morning, so I have a bad feeling about that, but it'll be okay. So that's going to be it for this update, and I will start filming again once my parents bring all of my books to put on this little shelf. Ah. So hello everyone, a lot of time has passed. Oh, before I start. If you hear any random human noises, it's the neighbors. <laughs> the hallway between the apartments is very, very echoey. And so if you make one decently loud noise, it rings throughout the hallway and all the apartments hear it. So <laughs> keep that in mind as I start filming new videos in this new place. But anyway, so some time has passed. It is now September 8th. It's the first day of classes today, and I planned all my classes to be in the morning, so I have the rest of the day to do things. Um, but it has taken me this long to unpack all my books. I know we've been here since August 29, but then my parents came the weekend after. So just this past weekend, I brought all the books, as well as all of our other things, and I've just prioritized unpacking other parts of our life 
kitchenette, I prioritize that over my books. But as you can see behind me, my husband has not. We bought this one shelf almost a day or two after we got here for my books. And then next thing I know, my husband puts all his books, Brennan put all the books that he owns on the shelf. And I'm used to having two shelves of this size for my books. So already, I don't think they're really going to fit or at least fit very nicely. And then Brennan goes and just like takes half of one of the shelves on here. And I'm like, you're not helping the situation, dear. But yeah, so I'm finally going to finish up this moving vlog and with the, you know, the whole montage of putting my books on here. And I will say though, if we turn the camera, this is our uh, game shelf. And so we have our game shelf and our bookshelf right next to each other because he and I both love games and then I love books. And so it just made sense to keep them together in the living room for all to see. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the books on my shelves. Ooh, one last note, I'm not going to sort them by color like I did on my last shelf because I'm more worried about how many books I can get to fit on here. So I am going to at first organize them just by series and buy books that I like more than other books and so I'm going to prioritize those first. Um, I may end up switching it up again but I don't think that's going to be part of this vlog or at least it'll be some other video and I do hope to do a bookshelf tour soon after this once I figured out how I'm going to have my shelves. Again, I'm accepting it now that they are not going to look nice. They're not going to look like other people's where They've got a row of books and they're color coordinated or author or genre coordinated. And then they've got these cute little things in front. No, they're going to be a row here and then there are going to be more books stacked uh, horizontally on top of those. So it's just not going to look nice. But you know, all my books are going to be on a shelf and that's what's going to make me happy. So literally four and a half boxes of books plus my trunk. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> Not able to get on the shelf like 
the thing is, is that I really, I wanted to squeeze as many books on the shelf I, as I can. As I said earlier, I knew it wasn't going to be neat, but at the same time, like, I didn't want to start stacking too many books right here in front of the books, because that kind of defeats, defeats the purpose, defeats the point. But I did do that with a couple names, and I still might do some rearranging on this bottom shelf of books that I want to keep on there versus books that can go off and have another book take its place because I like that book better. Um, and this has kind of made me realize that, oh my gosh, I am overdue for doing a book unhaul because there are definitely books I was like, yeah, this can just stay in the box. I don't even, I'm not even sad about leaving it in the box. It can just stay there or even some on the shelves. I'm still kind of like, I could replace it with a different book in a box. And so I'm thinking that I will be needing to do a book unhaul very soon. <laughs> That'll probably honestly be my next project after I finish uh, the video that I'm currently editing and then the moving vlogs and then like the five other videos that I have planned. Um, so yeah, you yeah, know, so kind of what I did as a short explanation of the shelves, but obviously you'll get more is that so obviously Brennan's books, but then the these are mostly books that I haven't read that are on my TBR, especially coming up as some of them are spooky season and um, or just like f fun ones that I really wanted to read. Not all of them obviously are spooky season, like I got my Calamity Jane up there, but um, yeah, so most of them are books I haven't read and will be reading quite soon. And then the ones here on the middle are some of my favorite series or are just series that look nice on the shelf, I'm going to be honest, but I also have like my Twisted Tales, Scythe, um, Airfolk, Divergent, I got uh, Maze Runner, which I'm not super sold on, I never actually finished the series because I just got boarded out, and then also the selection, um, as well as some other things up here as well, and then my bottom shelf is just kind of the extra historical fiction, classics, um, here and there, sci-fi, so... I might be doing it on haul so that I could put more uh, treasured books on my shelf. So, But that is going to conclude this moving vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my struggle of getting as many books on the shelf as I could, as well as the pain of not having them all on a shelf. And obviously a lot of people would be like, just buy another bookshelf. Except the thing is, we don't have room for another bookshelf in this apartment. And it's a very small apartment. It was meant for one person, but we got it very last minute. So... We're just happy we have something, so we don't have room for another shelf, and right now I haven't even bought my school textbooks yet, and like I said, it was the first day of class, so money is also a little tight for us right now. Um, so yeah, that's why everything has to fit on one shelf. Anyway, that's the end of this vlog, and I hope you guys have an awesome fall. I'm super excited, and if you guys started school, good luck to you, but other than that, inside, outside school, I I want to wish you guys a happy reading.